MLB The Show Tips is on the road. We come down to Charlotte, North Carolina, where the Norfolk Tides are taking on the Charlotte Knights. And we're here for one reason, and that's Eddie Gamboa. Yes, the Eddie Gamboa. And we want to know why he's one of the best pitchers in MLB 15 The Show and what he thinks about that, especially you voted him into the MLB 15 The Show All-Star Game. Eddie Gamboa. Your full name's Eduardo Gamboa? Right? Eduardo, Eddie, yeah. Eddie. Those really call me Eduardo ever since I was two, so Eddie. Eddie, Eddie Gamboa. Um, you're a Norfolk tie, but you're called up to the Orioles. I can see you got some of the gear. Uh, this year, have you ever been called up before? Uh, this year was the first time. I got up just for, for a couple of days as a backup and um, you know, got, to, got to kind of live my dream, but not really, you know, live it up, but I didn't get uh, any innings in, so i uh, still hoping to get the call up. I think everybody's dream become a big league pitcher. Um, but, um, you know, yeah, I, I was able to go up, come back down, and just keep working on my craft here. My knuckleball grip is um, kind of right there. And, uh, you know, a lot of people are more in, in this area here, but it never really felt comfortable for me. So this is probably the most comfortable area right, right here in the middle of the ball. So what other pitches do you throw? Uh, throw a fastball and I throw a slider. What kind of fastball? Uh, a slow fastball now. Slow fastball like what? Like 84, 85 now. Now I ask because in the game you have a four seam fastball, a two seam fastball, and then your knuckleball. And your four seamer runs at 93 miles an hour in the game, and your two seamer around 90, and then your knuckles all the way down to 66. Is that about the right speed? Yeah, that's about right. Yeah, when I when I got my uh, my contract this year, um, anybody who plays this in Mexico or in winter ball, that's how I pitch, is with that mind frame of anywhere from 88 to 93, um, with a slider, a changeup, and then my knuckleball when I'm ahead in the count. So, um, so that's kind of how I pitch in winter ball when my life depends on it. But um, you know, here with the Orioles, they want me to be uh, a full-time knuckleballer, and uh, and that's something that I had to kind of you know really take. Obviously, it's my career, but I want my career to last a long time, and with it, it's going to be with the knuckleball. What are some tips you would say for someone in the game to try to use your arsenal there, the two fastballs and the knuckleball, high in the zone with the fastball, low with the knuckle? I would say just try to get ahead of the count with, um, with, with conventional, and then when you're ahead in the count, the hitter's in defensive mode, then attack with all knuckleballs. Attack, attack, attack. It's my bread and butter. Have you ever played MLB The Show? Any kind of version of it? It's been on the Sony PlayStation for a while. You know, I think I have. I, you know, I'm, I'm not a big video guy, but uh, if, when I do play, it's going to be either a baseball game or a race car game. So anything else, no shooting, no any of that. But, uh, but yeah, no, I have. Uh, I mean, it's been a while, but but uh, I haven't played with myself on it. No, not yet. <laughs> Is that something you want to do eventually? Should you uh, try your knuckleball out in the game? Yeah, I mean, it, it's not a bad idea. When I did play, I remember there was, um, I think I played with uh, R.A. Dickey, and, uh, and that was always fun. So R.A. Dickey and Stephen Wright of the Red Sox are two knuckleballers in the game. Then they have a legend, Phil Necro, who also throws a knuckleball. Have you ever met any other those knuckleballers? I've Dickey met right? all three of them. Yeah, yeah. Phil Necro, uh, I've been able to work with him. Um, with, with the Orioles, uh, I've been fortunate to, to meet him and, and hang out with him. Stephen Wright and I, we're, we're both uh, represented by the same uh, agency, Beverly Hills Sports Council. So uh, we're, you know, we send text messages back and forth. And then obviously there's Ari Dickey, who I was able to meet in spring training. We play against them, and um, you know, the same thing. I can send him a text, and um, you know, he's, he's, he's an awesome guy. Um, you know, anytime we need him, people are there, and, and that's that's a great feeling. Uh, to have, especially you know when you're in the minor leagues, and you know Ari Dickey's Ari Dickey, so it's 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 pretty cool to to kind of pick his brain. But out of a hundred point scale, you're only at 66, which is pretty low, um, and yet 12,000 people have bought your card. There's a mode in the game where you can buy players' cards, and 12,000 people have bought your card to really? pitch with you. For comparison, if you combine Felix Hernandez of the Mariners and Clayton Kershaw of the Dodgers. They almost equal together 12,000. Really? So that's how popular you are in MLB 15 The Show. Wow. Did you know this? I didn't know that. No, I didn't know that at all. But but the, I call them weapons. When we pitch, I call them weapons. Um, and I think it, it's good to have weapons, a number of them, uh, to attack. You know, and when you have something that's, you know, obviously my fastball now is it's, it's uh, average in the big leagues. It's nothing. Nothing that's gonna wow you, but but you, you could pitch with it. You could, you could, 
you know, compete with it, especially with the knuckle ball, I think it makes it more effective. So um, I would say my situation is more like a modern now. Now it's not just all knuckle balls. It's okay, he has a knuckle ball, but he can also attack you with a fastball or a slider or change it for that matter. So um, that's kind of how I learned how to pitch. And I did it for, I learned knuckle ball in 2013. Um, actually, I didn't learn it. I knew how to throw it, but I started using it for, uh, professionally. Um, and this is the first year where I'm actually just kind of going with it and just living or dying with the knuckleball. But if my life depended on it, I think I would be, you know, uh, in the 50-50, the, the, the hybrid mode. Um, that's kind of how I feel comfortable. I could control the running game. I can control, I can control a lot of things with it. But, uh, but again, I'm, I'm kind of a, a young knuckleballer right now and, and I'm looking for my future to kind of expand it in 10 years from now. And, uh, and I'm hoping for the best. Uh, we recently held an MLB 15 to show all-star game where we let some of these fans vote and there were hundreds and hundreds of votes. And you were elected among the starting five pitchers to the all-star game of MLB really? 15 to show. And like I said, popular. Uh, you're a bit of a cool hero in the game. What's your reaction to that? And what would you say to your fans? I mean, no, it's great. I appreciate the, the support, you know, and again, I wish I wish, and, and maybe it could still happen, where I come back and, and this is the way I, um, I attack at AAA and hopefully the big leagues. But, um, but right now, I'm taking this whole year to try and master the knuckleball and try to get as best as I can with it. Somebody explained to me the other day how uh, Wakefield was like a 95% knuckleball guy. Then you have Ari Hickey, who's about 85, 90%. Stephen Wright's about 80%. Uh, you know, so it's kind of slowly going down, and then, and then maybe you have me, where I'm going to use it 60, 50 percent, uh, along with everything else. You know, a lot of knuckleballers go to the knuckleball because they don't have the fastball anymore. So my situation was more of they're trying to make me into a knuckleballer, even though I still had, you know, my my conventional stuff. So this is some gameplay footage of you in MLB 15 show, and um, you, you'll see like a pitch trail and everything. Just tell me what you're thinking as you see it. <laughs> you call this right? Yep. Anything red and uh, it was a strike. The good thing with this too is the umpires. Um, they're automatic. <laughs> yeah. You know, you well, do. there's a little bit of gray here. There's yeah. a little bit of gray. Yeah, not it's everything is a strike. There was a couple times in uh, in real life where sometimes when you do throw a knuckleball and it catch, doesn't catch it right or he doesn't catch it at all, umpires don't call it for a strike. But I mean, that one wasn't even close, but if you get that call, it makes it a lot easier to pitch. What, what's the general knuckleball rule if you're the hitter? So a lot of people have to hit against you in the game. What's it's, your advice? It's seat high. Let it fly. See it low, let it go. Uh -huh. See it high, let it fly. So that's kind of where guys are more aggressive. You know, obviously the higher because it's closer to the eyesight, they can see it better. But that right there, I mean, if, you know, down at the knees like that is uh, it's going to be pretty impossible to to kind of hit solidly. Because I could throw it as hard as an 80. You can throw your knuckleball as hard as 80. But does it dance as much? No, no. But it's um, the way I explain it is almost like a like a curveball. You know. You can have a really nasty curveball that drops like this, or you can have one that drops like this, but it looks like a fastball. So for me, like the way R.A. Dickey throws, he's 75 to 80 miles an hour. He doesn't give the hitter much time to, to think. They have to react to it. And so, um, you know, for me, that's kind of my goal is to be almost like R.A. Dickey right now. Um, but no, I mean, this is, again, like I said, this is something that uh, a lot of people know me as. It's like this. And um, you know, maybe we could have Buck Showalter play this and see if he could maybe he'll change his mind on, on how he wants me. But um, no, it's it's uh, <laughs> that's pretty good. That's pretty. That's the way I. That's the way I feel comfortable, and that's the way I I was like in, in two years. So um, you know, for me to be one of the popular pitchers on you know be the show with that repertoire right there is um, is very humbling, and, and it makes me want to work harder. And hopefully, hopefully, it could I can make it happen in real life. I really appreciate all the no, time my, today. No, thank you, man. I appreciate it. Thanks.
Uh, we're, we're going to be giving away one of these balls on Twitter, so make sure you're following MLB The Show Tips. So obviously the, the goal is to make it to the show, and um, you know, on a video game I'm there. Yeah. But um, you know, now we got to make it happen in, uh, in real life. 